Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Sprunk Fan. Will you? Uh, would you like the first vehicle? <laughs> it's not working. That's not gonna work. I have no choice in the matter. I keep trying to slip off the edge. Oh, I'm getting back on. Enlightened Gaming brought this to our attention when we asked what you guys wanted to see. And this is a simple challenge. Can you transport a vehicle from one side of the map to the other in the brand new Sprung Fan? Yes, $1.3 million. And it can't even load up a vehicle in the back of this truck. I mean, it can, but it slips right out again. Outrageous. A travesty. A shame. But my dearest of viewers, you know us by now. If Rockstar says, no, it can't be done. We will defy the wishes of the gods and we will do it anyway. So, take a vehicle, bring it from Los Santos to Polito, full public lobby. Now, I don't know about you, but my loins are just tingling with excitement to get the job done. And if you feel the same way, I urge you to stand up, face away from your viewing apparatus of choice and just backflip right into the like and or subscribe button and let me know how it went in the comments down below. Alright, let us begin the shit show. First, investigate. <laughs> we went for a vehicle that has about equal mass and would slot right into the bed. A glorious van. And just load it up and... Well, that's just outstanding. Not even as Rockstar decided to lubricate the entire bed so everything would slip right out, they also decided to make it so 90% of the vehicles can't even get on this vehicle. But matter. It does not, cause we think in solutions, not in problems. And if the truck can't come to the slam van, the slam van comes to the truck and just like that I scooped the boy up and off we went. See? No problem. If I let go, oh my god it's slipping, she's slipping, oh she's slipping now. No problem at all, I don't know what the issue is. Yep, this works just fine, exactly how Rockstar attended it too. Man, oh man, oh man, I just feel ecstatic. Never before have we had a challenge this easy, and to celebrate, we went for the first quick sprung stop of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, I've been enjoying the sprungs in all the other games we've been playing, but nothing hits that sweet spot like the one in Los Santos. And so we pulled out of the garage, and then... I have no choice in the matter, I keep trying to slip off the edge. Oh, I'm getting back on. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, such tragedy. Oh, we could have made it. No, this is to be expected at this point. And if you had any belief that we would make it on our first try, you haven't learned a damn thing. But take solace in the fact that we learn each and every fail. We learn and we become better. Patience is key. And at this point, I am like a monk, slightly levitating over this gamer chair, playing with my eyes closed and all ten fingers just softly touching the temple of my head. We loaded up the sprung buffalo and into the cold Los Santos night we went. I raised the booty of our thick mobile and off we went. Now I need you to all hum songs of spiritual praise as we... And just like that, a car starts flying around like a fresh dirt in a gorilla pen and then... Attempt number two came to a sudden halt underneath the bridge. The sort of thing is the buffalo filled that trunk real good, but it leaves no room for maneuverability. This is a problem. Rockstar put a ton of Vaseline in that trunk and if you can't wiggle around in the back there, it is simply no good. Oh, that's what she said. Oh, that's 2014 and life is good. Anyway, we decided to take the Sanchez instead and let me tell you, it was just glorious. She willingly just jumped right in and off we went. The pace, the speed, the momentum, and oh god, oh! A minor hiccup, but the vehicle is still in. We went flying straight past the city. If there ever is a vehicle to make it, it's this bad boy. But then... Oh shit! Attempt number four. So we tried again, we've had great success with the vehicle, and even when there is an unfortunate crash, the bike just stays in the bed, and so... We went flying to the far north once again, but we gotta get out of the city fast. This lobby is infested with reefers, so we don't have time to take it easy and just cruise to the north. But then... Yeah. Oh my god, it's so no fucking that happened. A violent crash. Dave went flying and cracked his skull on the pavement, but the bike is fine. And that 
is all that matters. I haven't authorized his death, and so I ordered him to get back on the damn bike to get this thing done. We flew down the center of the city at unimaginable speeds. Look at that incredible momentum. We are simply unstoppable. Now, who on earth said that this couldn't be done? Millions of people on the internet. Oh, and they went wrong! Attempt number five. Same shit, we get out of the city fast, so we halt the butt cheeks. Flew down the strip, we went to the west highway as we went down the slope, but I lost control of the vehicle. Too much speed, too much pace, can't slow down and- Oh my god! Oh. Dave went flying and cracked his skull again. He died a violent and brutal death on the side of the road, but the real tragedy, the bike fell off. Oh, attempt number six. So the bike might not work. I mean, it will, but at high speeds, it becomes dangerously wonky and you seem to fly off really easy. We need something that's just a wee bit heavier. Something that will surely stay on the back. Ah yes, it works like a goddamn charm. I don't know what you're all so mad about, but just look at this. It fits like a glove and will be in Polito in no time. Wait. Weight is all that was needed for this glorious vehicle with the correct amount. You dead? Ladies and gentlemen, this entire thing seemingly is just a waste of time. The furthest we got is just out of the city, and when I tell you we tried it all, I am not joking around. We tried scooping up helicopters, but they just slide right off. We tried taxiing airplanes across the map, and the thing just dies when you're barely out of the gates. And even us cheating this challenge simply didn't work. Technically, the cargo bob is in the vicinity of the back of this vehicle, but the cargo bob won't even go up. We tried double scooping, we tried scooping submarine carts, we tried go-karts, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid to tell you, the Rockstar truly banned us all over, shafted us and then took 1.3 million dollars straight out of our pockets. Defeated, we went back to the office to take the juicy L, but then it hit us. The vehicle we transport, it can't be too heavy or the truck won't move. It can't be too big or you can't adjust. It can't be too light or it will fly right out. You can't fall off the vehicle. The question was never, can the sprung truck transport a vehicle? The question was, what vehicle can the sprung truck transport? And there she is. A vehicle heavy enough to give the downforce it needs. A vehicle shaped like a skittle so it can move around and adjust. You can't fall off this thing and so... We went sailing to the far north with barely any hiccups. We cruised through the city. We even pushed it. And instead of going on the highway, we went through the hillside. We got that sweet sprung stop in. We went on to the highway. And lastly, we obtained the epic victory royale upon the sands of Palito Bay. I felt today we truly achieved something. We truly learned something. And what we learned is... Me and Dave wasted a lot of time today, and now you too have wasted a lot of time. Oh, also don't buy this thing. Enlightened Gaming, you owe us both 1.3 million dollars. Expect a knock from the Sprung Mafia soon. And that leaves me to thank all the members of the YouTube channel. Oh, the joy. Thank you one. Thank you all for supporting my wacky YouTube adventures. And I look forward to bringing you more content very soon. I will upload more Hitman videos and there will definitely be more Sea of Thieves as well. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. And with that all being said, I will bid you all farewell and see you later. I'm River Dirge.